Greetings, my YouTube channel friends. Um, after I did the video on the astronomers, astrologers, uh, astronomers <laughs> discovering the two planets outside our solar system that I hypothesized could possibly be heaven and hell. I'm not saying they were, but maybe. Got a lot of, uh, got a lot of, and have been getting a lot of comments and messages on uh, Nibiru, planet X. So I'm going to talk about that right now. Is it possible that those planets or one of those planets could be? That planet, yeah, it's possible. Anything is possible. But let's talk about this Nibiru, Planet X, and Three Days of Darkness theory. First of all, in the Bible, there were three days of darkness in Exodus uh, when Moses uh, had the plagues on the Pharaoh from God. And uh, Nibiru, if that is actually the planet, it's larger than Earth, and it could definitely, between the Earth and the Sun, block out the Sun for three days. Very possible God could have used that. He created the heavens and the universe, he could use a planet to do that. There was darkness when Christ was crucified. Is it possible that God used that planet to move in front of the sun? It's possible. Is it possible that God used that planet to um, throw off the tides and the water and uh, throw off the whole atmosphere uh, to help with the flood, great flood? It's possible. God, again, created everything. He could use it. Now, a lot of Christians falsely hypothesize hypothesize that there's going to be three days of darkness in the tribulation. The Bible don't say that. It says there'll, there'll be darkness. The sky, the sun will not shine as, as uh, light nor the moon. It'll be dark, but the Bible doesn't say uh, for how long. For five minutes, a day, two days, a week, a month, a year. So there is no three days of darkness in Revelation. That's, that's untrue. So let's talk about this planet. If this planet X, Nibiru, uh, would actually crash into the earth like people hypothesize, they say that that's going to be what's going to be wormwood for Revelation. First of all, a planet hits the Earth. If a large if a large asteroid hits the Earth, the size of a football field, it can destroy the entire civilization. If a planet hits the Earth, it'll just wipe it out off the map totally. So that's not going to happen. The Bible is clear on how things happen. Now, an asteroid will hit in the tribulation. And is it possible that something could be tailing along with Nibiru and God could bring it close to Earth and whatever meteors or asteroids are in its or in its tail could hit the Earth? and cause billions to die? Yeah, that's very possible. But the actual planet is not going to hit the earth. So just understand, when theories come out, always go to the Holy Bible. That's the, the bottom line for me. I don't take any man's word. I go right straight to the source, to the Holy Bible, to find out everything that I, that I need to find out. But one thing to understand is, the rapture is imminent. The Bible says at least 150 times that the rapture is pre-tribulation. I got the scripture messaging me. And if you're left behind, with all the unsaved and the backsliders who will be left behind as well, I've got 250 scripture and commentary from the Bible that says you have to repent after you're saved. Message me for that as well. God says that men's hearts will fail because of fear and that there be no flesh left alive if he did not intervene. I've got a prayer below the video titled in the box. It says, I know I talk fast, you can pray it as soon as the video is over and to get saved by Jesus Christ's precious blood and six vital next steps and my video that describes the tribulation how to get saved during it, and what to expect A to Z. Get a hold of that as soon as possible. If you want me to pray for you for anything, contact me, and I'll pray for you every day without fail. I love you all. May God bless you, and true Christians, keep looking up. Our redemption draweth nigh. We fly soon. Have a blessed day. Bye.